And in the distance you can see Tekety Mountains. Yeah, it's a uh, mountains just beside the Sparta. And that's how slowly we are traveling. We were there last year. <laughs> Slow traveling is the essence of life, especially van life. Morning. We did sleep really good night in the peaceful hillside overnighting spot. It's a gorgeous place. And we have the perfect weather today, so we're gonna go for a walk. This is, I think, one of the top 10 European sites that you need to go look for. This uh, bay area, the beach and the castle. And how lucky we are. Everything is walking distance. We feel so much safer to leave our van here in the middle of the woods and then go walk to the parking lot and the castle and the beach than drive in there. Yeah, always tourist places. More breakings, more danger. More money, more people. Yes, we are in a forest. There's nobody <laughs> else. We are inside of the Natura 2000 protected site and this is a breeding ground, a nesting area, sea turtles and lots of various exotic rare birds here and campervans are totally prohibited in this area but you can see some people still camp here or park their van here. Yeah, let's go explore. Maximum number of bathers can be 4,000 people. Yeah, this is one of the most visited places in the whole area of this part of Peloponnes. So natural wonder. Yes. So always people come here when they are road tripping. Road tripping or visiting Greece in this part. Yeah, the bay is uniquely shaped like an umbrella. Yeah, and it, it's really beautiful, especially day like this when there's no wind. The scenery here looks like we are in Southeast Asia. Shimmering crystal clear waters, these white sandy beaches and those rock walls, they are very majestic. It looks like somebody cut them with a knife and pine trees are so green and lush. Wow, this beach is amazing and so windy. Finest little sand, I call it Nepparin hiekka. I used to have this gerbil when I was a kid. And his name was Neppari. And he liked to bathe in the fine sand like this. Yeah, we are walking up to the Navarino castle ruins. And it's there. Long way to walk. Oh, it's so hot in here and we are so stupid because we always go walks. In the middle of the noon, the hottest temperatures in the day. Whew. Yeah, already halfway on the road, and we can see this huge cave! We are always comparing things how they were eight years ago when we were here last time. There wasn't a hole in the ceiling of the cave last time, so... Something has happened in here. But yeah, this is a really magnificent cave. Huge and long. And there are also stalagmites or stalactites. I don't remember which one goes upwards and which one goes downwards. But they are forming here. Really awesome place. How close are the 
I think the H did some tricks and I'm afraid to go there. A very good reason not to postpone your retirement days and moving your van living always into the future. The older you get, you get more phobias and whoa, you get older. This is scary. Now you can really see the omega shaped beach. We are like warriors from Roman Empire that are assaulting the castle, raising it to the ground. We just came inside from the backyard. We have been exploring by foot this Navarino castle ruins and Greece is amazing place to explore the ruins. There is some larger ancient archaeological sites that maybe have some entry fee but it's only a few euros so it's not never a rip-off. We absolutely love these places and they are totally free to enter. It's so nice because this is our culture too. Democracy! Best part of every trip is the snacks. Eat up it. One of the good parts of slow traveling is that you can decide which day you visit the sites. For example, yesterday it was a beautiful day, but it was too windy. Day before was rainy, so no. But third day is a charm and we have perfect weather. No wind, okay, some blowing, but still blue skies and just enjoyment. Yeah. Slowly traveling, slowly enjoying normal day to day life with a pinch of adventures. Best life ever. Second, that and more being and less doing. Back in the days there was a huge sign saying Navarino Castle is uh, closed because it's so dangerous to come here. But now it's open and they haven't done anything to this. So it wasn't dangerous. They just wanted to close it and not get any responsibilities of people smashed with the rocks. Yeah, You are here with your own responsibility. I don't uh, wait anyone holding my responsibility to keep me safe. Outsourcing your life in every aspect, I, I don't like it. This, for example, insurances and responsibilities. So if I'm here and walking on that wall over there, I'm responsibility to walk there safely and take, take precautions. Nobody else. Yeah, because it's your life. It's our life. The main gate of the castle. Yeah, it was two walled castles, so there was two sections. So if anyone would breach this first huge section, they would have a second section also to defend. Still, I think uh, having a castle, basically you are surrounded by enemies when you are inside of the castle. So, uh, as war effort, I don't think it's feasible, even then. It was a seriously dangerous, still. They didn't do anything. <laughs> Seriously dangerous. This beach is super shallow, so you can walk all the way. 
to that island and the deepest part is only like a chest deep. How exciting! This Natura 2000 protected area covers huge wetlands also. There's a different kind of birds and flamingos even. Oh my god, it's a secret little beach. And the best part of the hikes always getting to swim. So let's head back to the van, which is uh, just above that hill. You have to just take some longer walk. Yeah, loving it. Again, amazing beaches in Greece. <sighs> and taking a little shortcut to our van, just a little. We call this Yonis route because. Usually they are not really convenient routes, but they are shorter, at least. Finally, it's springtime. Sparagus. This is wild sparagus. And so good. Luckily this time the Yoni route was easy and convenient and faster. So we are at our home street. So this road will lead to our home. Yes, we're gonna make frappes, cold cold frappes. We have ice cubes in the freezer. Ah, living the life as it's best. And every time when we go sleep in this place, we can hear the shakals. There's a lot of them, so the road is actually full of those shakal, golden shakal markings. Home sweet, much your home, and when you go back to your dear home, the van paranoia always kicks in. But luckily our van is here, safe and sound. And this spot is amazing, because other side of the bay there is more sand dunes, and we did visit them also. Pretty nice. Sand beach and these dunes that we came today to walk. Yeah, and there is also some vans on the beach parking. Yeah. From here starts the coast of vans, I would say. So wherever you go, you see vans because uh, yeah, it's endless sand beaches on the west coast of Peloponnesus. So people love to be on the beach in the winter time, of course, as we, but we go nature. <laughs> when we are surrounded by pushies, we are more relaxed and happy than on the beach. So we can just come here for a walk in the beach and get back to our van. Yeah, Navarino dunes just around the corner here and in this part of the Peloponnesus, there ain't that much uh, turtles, but when we go to the northern side, there's a lot of uh, protected areas where the turtles come to nest in the sand. So in the future, hopefully we can see some turtles. It would be awesome. We have so just seen dead ones. We are actually weeks away from the high season to start and everything looks like they are still not ready for the season. Yeah, this is one of the hotels in this area and there are gazebos that you can rent out. Well, I don't know if it's included in the price. But yeah, everything is still rubbled so I don't know how fast they will actually build this up again before the season. Maybe. Last week they will make full days to make it ready. Yeah, but nice place. Nice place for a hotel. This kind of cove 
sand cove and hold out there. Loving it. This should be some kind of a good tasting fruit. Let's see. This have a hole, so there's a worm inside. I don't know if I take this. You have now this wrapper box, so everything that you need for wrappers. Water, a little bit. Instant coffee. We like it uh, semi-sweet. So tables, not tablespoon, teaspoon of sugar. Mix it well, make it foamy. Add one milk each. We like it with milk. Top it up with water. And just like that, two frappes ready to be served.